dipshit protesters. What so do you have? Yeah? let's mm -hmm. see. Let yep. me see what I have. Yeah. Here. What do you have here? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Did you go outside today? Mm, no, I don't think so. Actually, could you tell? Oh no, 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 no! I was just asking because I didn't know if you got a glimpse of the weather out there. It's nice. Is it nice? Yeah. You know, I would say that it's so nice that in Los Angeles right now it's. 72 degrees yeah. with a uh, 16% humidity mm -hmm. and only three miles of, I'm sorry, three miles per hour with the wind. Did you know that right now in Miami, mm -hmm. it's 80 degrees with 80% humidity? Holy shit. That sounds <laughs> and pretty muggy. mile per hour wind. Oh my God. My God, you're going to be sweating and blown away out there. That's Holy crazy. Fuck. I don't know how Dan does it. Horrible. Let's get to the preliminary how do you question. Do it, Dan? Uh, okay, well, first of all, it's 75 right now. The wind is eight miles an hour. So step one is I don't lie, Bose. Okay. I don't know where you are. Are you in Miami or are you in Miami Beach? Oh, I'm just looking on uh, Google temperature weather. Okay, and I'm getting it from there. So I don't That's know uh, where you're getting it from. Is no. this how we're gonna start this off? Does it, does it feel good to lie? Okay. You Who's think that... fucking lying, Dan? You. I you. literally just pulled. Okay, a we're not saying that. Okay, now lie. I've got a couple. Of... I just pulled up Miami weather and it's a 75 Fahrenheit. Yeah. What oh the fuck God. are you guys looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at, Bose? I'm is the question. At, I'm looking at something right now that says, well, uh, wait, I guess because third, no, the, yes, that's what I have. Okay, get, let's go. Get to Let's get to it. Okay, anyway. Let's get to it. Yeah, just, let's, okay. Now, we have a couple of preliminary questions. I know where we left off last time. Dan wasn't here for that, but it looks like he's just gonna pop in. Okay, so are you planning on renting or buying? Um, renting, for sure. Renting. Okay, home or apartment? Um, are you talking about when I move next? Mm -hmm. It'll almost for sure be an apartment, but man, I sure would like to rent a house. Apartment. But... Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you rent a house? Um, I don't know. It's just a matter of finding one, and just a little more work. Because I have to like, mow a so, lawn. Wait, are you... I have to do all sorts of dumb shit. Sorry, what's that? So you're probably not going to put too, too, too much effort into selecting a place. Um, well, what do you mean? You just kind of, you just want to pick one that looks good and roll right in. Do I just want to pick a place that looks good and roll right in? I guess so, sure. Okay, that's just something I want to take into consideration because I was looking at the Google Fiber website. Great news. We've got fiber in Austin as well as Miami, but there was a notice up there that said something about being careful about the buildings that you move into because fiber is not available in a lot of the older buildings. because the Wait, wait what is going on here? What the fuck is going on right um, now? I just I just want to make note of that. So let's yeah, just let's go ahead sure and add to the calculations the, the California income tax. You want to throw that one in there? I know that's conveniently being whoa, left whoa, out. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no income tax in Austin, Texas, Dan. Let's Austin slow it down. Austin sucks. Austin I, is dog hey, shit. Hey, 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 I, I hear you. You know, you've been bidding your case for a few weeks now. Let's get back to me. So I just want to go ahead and establish that notice on the website, which Dan, who wants to call me a liar, can mm -hmm. go ahead and take a gander at, which explicitly notes the wiring of certain buildings only in Miami. These brand new, beautiful buildings in Texas don't have that issue, but we'll get there. A few more questions. Okay, let's see. Um, you don't really care about like the STD or the HIV rates in Miami, do you? Um, should I? <laughs> uh, no, I was just, you, okay, you talk about it sometimes, I just uh, didn't know. It's nothing okay. I've, like, and especially then, looked into, but. Okay, and then, do you, do you more so enjoy seasons or, like, more consistent weather? You know, I'm a, I'm a they call me an indoor person. I, I have one, too. Do you enjoy your son being able to hang, hang out with your, uh, you know, his grandparents, or is that not important to you at all? Do you want your son to do you, be Do you enjoy the being near uh, you know, Disney World? Like is, is that good for you? suck. <laughs> Miami school system. Oh, my God. Dan, you didn't go there, right? Because you're smart. You couldn't have gone there. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're you're right. I mean, that's like where Bezos went to school. What does he know, right? What, what the an fuck idiot. does he know? Okay, let's get to the so you said you're not you're an indoor person, so who gives a flying fuck about the weather, you know? Um Okay, let's see what else. Uh, how often do you go grocery shopping? Um, you know, not as much as I should. Not as much. So we're kind of like a Postmates restaurant guy. So we're probably going to look at the cost of living of those restaurants in Austin versus Miami, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. Not much of a grocery guy. Wait, are you in Austin? No, 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 no. Then why, okay, would, you, why would you force Austin then? I what can understand if you were there. We're talking about that right now, Dan. And we'll get there. Don't these are just the preliminary questions. Um, let's see. I think I asked this before, but this is on the list. Um, are you willing to move into a more expensive renovated Florida unit to ensure good internet, or would you risk a cheaper location that is potentially unstable for fiber? I definitely have to be in a good internet area. It's definitely a okay. very important. Oh, God, this is rough because you know one of the big things that Miami had going for it was the cost of living for rent was about ten percent cheaper, which we love. Ten percent on rent, that's fantastic. But when you can't even move into those cheaper units because you don't have internet, I don't. Really we think that's applicable. So we're going to go ahead and say that the cost of living in terms of rent um, for both cities is about equal. Okay. And um, are you and Melina planning to raise children in the Miami school system? No, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. Okay. That's fine. You should just got to take this into consideration. I can't, you know, I can't drill you on stuff if I don't know what you need and what you want, Steven. Sure. And let's see, also, it's, I know you're fucking loaded, Steven, but I gotta ask, is the cost of living outside of rent important to you, like food, gas, restaurants, you know, et cetera? Yeah, a little bit, you know, I can take that into consideration a little bit, yeah. Okay, we'll take into consideration. You never know when you're gonna get banned from, you know, Twitch or anything, so. Yeah, you know, oh God, and that's crazy too. It's so hard to find a job in Miami. Okay, um, God, where do we start? I'm just scrolling through the dock right now. Oh, should, should we start like light or? But you know what? Start light. Start light? You don't want to just like go right into it? Well, what do you think, Dan? Where should we start? Uh, no, I think that uh, you should get quite heavy right from the oh, start. Okay. Get okay. Are heavy. you going to get Melina a gun? You know, I really, I really like guns. Okay. So you're going to get a gun? And... Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on where I'm at, I guess. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a little nervous with the human trafficking in Florida. I went to look into it a little bit and I saw uh -huh. not only has it doubled in the last five years, but they actually just uncovered a ring of 200 people in a massive human trafficking ring in Miami. That's crazy. So I just feel like we have to take the cost of the gun and the training into consideration because you can't just send Melina out there to IRL stream in Florida with these people. We need her. What do you mean by these people? whoever the fuck is out there dude well who do you should we look at who was we should figure out who's in that ring huh and then what show melina pictures of all 200 of them and be like don't talk to this guy <laughs> like what's what's the big plan dan i'm not sure okay well right, if well, you're gonna factor in gun cost i mean if you live in texas i think it's part of the state constitution that you have to own a gun to be a citizen well, well so. to be very clear here we call the gunshine state, okay? So I would say we're pretty equal when it comes to uh, Florida versus Texas. So wait, the traffickers have guns? Uh, I'm sure, yeah, probably. Fuck, dude, okay. Well, that look, that's just something that we wanna take into consideration. The cost of Melina's defense, um, her classes for, cause you can't, look, these guys, <laughs> they're gonna take her. Next thing you know, she's gonna be in Nebraska, okay? We don't want that. I just, I just wanna take this in mind, but you know, Melina doing the streams that she's doing now, she's doing great. So maybe we just keep her inside if we go to Florida, nice and safe, right? Um, this is, God, this is something else I was just really concerned about. Florida Steve. That's not just, that sounds like something law enforcement would say before they put it on a headline, huh? Florida Steve? I don't, I just don't like that. I like, you know what I like? I like Texas Steve. Texas Steve is rich, powerful, strong, definitely has a gun. Kind of reminds me of Nebraska Steve, but a little bit more evolved. Look, overall, with Texas Steve, I feel safe. Florida Steve! <laughs> I got a lot of compelling arguments right now, Dan. I need you to step in, Fucking Dan. Florida Steve! <laughs> that sounds like a phase in your life that you try to forget. <laughs> Dude, that shit sounds so bad. I, 
I wanted to give you some, like, just something with, you know, Miami Steve also sounds fucking bad. Honestly, Miami Steve sounds fucking bad. It makes me sound like a pickup artist. Miami Steve. I just wanted to throw that out there. It is really important. We're mostly talking about issues that affect, you know, you, finances, you know, your significant other, um, career, all that. But I think it is important to uh, think about the chat too. And I don't think anybody wants to say their fearless leader is a... Uh, First off, you are completely wrong because if Steve is down in Miami, that means he gets content with me and Mootin constantly. Okay, you're never going to turn chat against the fact that there will be fucking content happening nonstop, okay? Does Florida have its problem? Sure. It does. It does. No, nonstop. Let's take a second to think about how many streams has Melina done with Steve since she moved right in to his fucking house? Let's take a look and see how much 24-7 content is really going to be going on between Dan and Steve. Okay. I mean, this is a losing battle if you think that case, because... We have some fucking crazy shit going on down here. All right. Okay, you said it yourself. Like, you never know. You might get okay, abducted okay. when you're down here. That's good content. Maybe like two streams or so. Yeah, it sounds like 24 seven content, you know, <clears throat> maybe if you move in, you'll get like three streams, Dan. Okay. Let's see what else. And then I, uh, oh wait, this is also in my notes. Steven, you mentioned the time zones before, but like three hours versus a time, a two hour difference. We're not really going to take that one seriously. Are we? Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. Okay, wait, uh, and then it looks like we just got a poll. When was the last time you saw Mr. Mooten and Dan make IRL content? And the winner for that poll, 89%, comes in with the option that says, wait, that happened? Yeah, it's almost like there's some sort of fucking, like, infectious virus going around or something. Some reason that we don't call... You know what? Let's do this then, Bose. All right, where's the fucking IRL content we get with you and Steven? That's strange. I hear you guys are hanging out all the time. Where's that content at, huh? The IRL content is there. We went to the Trump rally. We fucking... We did like a... <laughs> Nothing. We went to the, the... Whatever the debate thing was. What was the... Jesse Jesse Lee Lee You're right show? next to him. We did You're that. right next to him. We don't we see nearly enough. Restaurant. We don't see nearly enough. Hey, man. I'm, I hate... Look, Dan, I just called out three things. <laughs> what do you want from me, buddy? It's not enough. Okay, let's see. I did more honestly, than that in a Dan, week when we hang I, out. Dan, you know, I'm a little disappointed because I told Steve a while ago that I wanted to talk about something, which is obviously this, you know, me campaigning for the state of Texas versus But Florida. why, though? That's what and I don't understand. Are you going to move to Texas? Yeah. And then... I Why? saw that you were in here and I was nervous. I was scared. I was like, oh my God, my controlled thing where I just tell Steven, cause last time Melina came in here and it foiled everything. And I was like, fuck, Dan is in here. And then you proceeded to do absolutely nothing while I fired off these nasty, dirty- Well, it's all fake news. A hundred percent of it. Fake news. You got, you got <laughs> fake, okay, you got fake weather, Calm fake down, crime Calm. statistics. All right, let's Fake see. gun statistics, the whole thing. Fake How am I supposed to argue with fake news? It's across the board, it's fake hey, news. Hey, I'm, listen, listen. I'm just, I'm just letting you tucker up. yourself out, get just, all tired, and then oh, you can go to sleep. Tucker myself up. Listen, baby, I never get tired. Let's move on. All right. Okay. More fake what? news. What do you got? What? This is something we got to take into consideration. Natural uh -huh. disasters. Steven, completely fearless. A man that I'm surprised he's still here. Um, Austin, most common natural disaster there is tornadoes. In Miami, we have floods, hurricanes, tropical storms. Those really aren't that scary. You know why this is so bad? Dan, since you're such good friends with Steve, can you explain to me why tropical storms, hurricanes, and floods would be so bad for Steven? No, no, I mean, I think you're doing a fantastic job with your so you fake can't. news. Well, no, because I, I think it's fantastic stuff. You know what? I'm not doing this. I don't give a fuck where this motherfucker goes, okay? You can go and try and make him go to that fucking boring sleeps in the fucking town of Austin. That is one of the worst places I ever go. I went there for South by Southwest, and I was fucking embarrassed that I fucking actually paid to go to that goddamn shit. Oh, it's my a God. Shit you town. know what I forgot? Dude, I forgot about all the conventions in Austin. Fuck. I would love scrolling through Tender when all these conventions are in town because there's so many hot, half-naked girls that just want to fuck. Dude, what is it ever? How many didn't Eris say that there's just all these conventions, these girls fly out? For, that's just crazy. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that. Not, <laughs> I'm just saying if I was a guy, but you know, I'll see you guys. Anyways, 
Um, let me go ahead and answer that question for you. Dan, do you know how upset Steven would be if in one of these flash floods, all of his possessions were destroyed? I don't know. That's like one of his biggest pet peeves. Property damage? The property damage is just insane in Florida. I was I was reading I was reading something. I actually did a quick Google search. <clears throat> I Googled, and you can look this up too, why I hate Austin and then why I hate Miami. I think it's really important to get kind of like a review from a local because I don't live there. I don't live in either one of them, you know? Um, I looked into this and I couldn't believe how many posts and articles I found under the why I hate Miami search. <laughs> I mean, the results were not surprising, but it was a little bit surprising. Couldn't really find too much under Austin. Uh, Dan, have you experienced uh, just rude people, poor hospitality, everything in Miami? It just seems like the people down there are really mean. I'm not playing this fake news game with you, okay? It is a great place to live. It is a great, I, I'm, you know, I'm glad you. that you're not you coming here. I'm glad. Austin is a fantastic place for you. I think you're going to do well there. Whoa, I, I really do. the reverse psychology. Yes. No, no. That's I think move. you That's a good move. are. You should be told what to do. I'm just laying it all out. And Steven is. Oh, so you're saying that Steven is predictable. By Wait, what? <laughs> one, so you're saying he's predictable. You just tell him what not to do and that he will do it. Is that what no, you're saying? No, he does. Steven does whatever he wants. Oh, so you're saying that he, he is I, predictable then. Hey, I'm not here to. I'm not here to. I say I'm not here to convince, but well, it kind of sounds I like you are. It, so it you think he's convincible like, then? You think you know he's what? convincible? He's simple. No, no, no. What it is is I want the best for Stephen, and Stephen mm -hmm. he likes to think quick. He's just like let's just get it the fuck over with. You know, somebody calls out Florida, he thinks it sounds good. No income tax, boom. Steve decides Florida. But like mm -hmm. honestly, you know, Stephen, have you really like weighed out the two options before, or are you just kind of going for Florida? No, I haven't really thought about it this deeply. You know, I'm not really <laughs> sure. You know, <laughs> it's kind of wonder. This. Can you tell us more about the uh, airport in Austin, too? Because that's really, uh, you know, I'm interested in that one as well. Nobody gives a fuck about the airport in Austin. He doesn't leave his house. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Airport's not any, what, do you Do you have any questions for me, Dan? How can I help? Oh, wait. Let me just, wait. I can't believe this. I didn't even finish going to the dock. It was mm -hmm. fucking crazy. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, this list was more for Melina. We'll leave that off because you don't, you don't go outside. Um... House. Oh, that's right. And let's not forget the friends. So, wait, what friends do you have in Florida? Uh, you know, Steven? Mr. Mooton and Dan. They're down there. Mr. Mooton. And then how far apart do they live? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Didn't that change recently, Dan? What was that? No, within five minutes of each other. Is it really within five minutes? Now, is that like Thank by you. plane, by helicopter? Yeah, no. Didn't, you know what? Didn't you say? Stop fuck no, I'm not. I'm not doing a two on one. Okay. That's I'm just. Not I, no, no, no. I'm just. Wait, no, 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 no. The scrub king. You get. I am a neutral third party. Okay. Dude, I just want to know: is that dude, five dude. minutes like speed of sound or five minutes on a fucking scooter? Now, how many CCs? Is this a 500 CC scooter, a 550 CC scooter, or just a normal Mr. Mitten scooter? Okay. Five minutes on a Mr. Mitten scooter. Okay. We're very close to each other. Mm. Okay. So you guys. So you guys live five minutes apart from each other. Yes. Okay. Mr. Mooton and Dan live five minutes apart. And, it, and you said that's by driving, right? Scooter. Oh, so by driving, it's like eight minutes, huh? That's awesome. You probably add some time, sure. A minute. Okay. Maybe a minute right, and so Mr. Mooton and Dan live. And, and then what other, like, do you have other streamer friends or just like buds or anything? Uh, yeah, me? I have, I or no, go ahead, Steven. Um, I used to be friends with Kate Arena. Did she live in Florida? I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so we got Mr. Moon and Dan, and they live in the same city. So you won't have to choose between either of them, right? Like you'll be able to see them whenever you want, and like it's not going to cause any issues or anything when like you're hanging out with one of them and not the other. It's not going to like fuck up your stream and like the uh, characters on it, right? As long as Dan's roof isn't collapsing or anything from the hurricanes, it should <laughs> that be happened fine. one time. Or the fucking flood. Okay, let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, so I compiled a list of just a couple of your buds that are out there. Why didn't I title this? Steven's Buds. Okay, Austin, Texas. We got Tyler, Trainwrecks TV. Great friend, great content, great bud. Got Austin Show. <laughs> what the? Austin, obviously. Andrea Botez. God, chat. Alex Botez. Let's not forget Bose. And then 
for statistical accuracy. We also have an estimated six other people that consider you their friend, but you forgot about them. So I'm gonna take that list of people that I just gave you and then add six more to it. Now, Dan, I'll do you a favor here and bring up the fact that uh, I don't think Steve's gonna be doing any IRL content no matter where he goes, so. <laughs> So what? Did we just throw out the whole friends argument? Honestly, maybe. Well, you know, I think, but I think the other thing though too is location also has more to do with like relationships and like relationship building and stuff like that too. Like it's really nice to be nearby. And then like also, are you really gonna throw Melina into Florida where she's just gonna like walk outside and like do one IRL stream and then like get fucking trafficked or like not have any friends? Or do you wanna take her to Austin where all the streamers are? All the friends, all the new friends, all the IRL content for Molina. You just gonna send her out in humid ass Miami? Steven. You know she likes beaches. But go ahead. Is there a lot of uh, beaches in Austin? I'm sorry, I'm not sure. No? Or beaches in Austin? Yeah, is there a bunch there or we can make a beach. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, well, what else? Well, hey, uh, what you else know, you got, Dan? Even if the, even if there's not a good beach there, at least they have a fantastic airport, so you can like no problem go Wait, wherever you the, need okay, to. What's the thing with the airport? Fill me in. Go, go, go. No, no, no reason. Go. I'm just saying. What is it like the Denver airport? No, no, no. I was just saying that like you know you can probably get a lot of uh, direct flights to different places easily without connecting anywhere. I've never set foot in the state of Texas, and even I've heard about how bad the Austin airport is. So. Oh, wait, you mean because it's like not nonstop or something? That's part of it, yeah. Dan, that's so fucking whack. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. This is important to people who travel frequently, having a decent airport nearby. Okay, well, let's get the final deciding weigh in. Zerka, what do you think? Uh, about airports? No, Austin or Miami. <laughs> wait, Which place do you think is cooler? Uh oh. Uh, Zerka, Austin, would you rather uh, live in Miami, Florida, or Austin, Texas? Hands down, Miami. Austin's a fucking Get the hole. fuck out! Yeah, Zerka! Zerka. That's right! What? That's right. That's not even a question. Zerka, leave. Uh, no, Zerka, stay. I, I don't have the energy for Bose. She's too what is Zerka, there? Leave. Wait, win me over. What's there in Austin? Oh, wait, dude, we literally just talked about all this. Go, run and give wait, him the bullet points. No, Zerka what? doesn't fucking count, because Zerka literally just told me the other day that Steven was his only friend. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Why would you blow him out like that? Jesus, Jesus he Christ. Said it. He said it out. Well, no, wait, we did I Zirka, say it? what the fuck? I spent like an hour on your stream the other day. I don't count. <laughs> okay, quick. <laughs> Can, I gotta sleep soon. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hey, I'm at two and a half, ten and a half hours, okay? Give Zerka the rundown. Go. And we'll get Zerka's final oh, opinion. Okay, on. all right, all right. Here's the rundown. Here's the rundown. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Wait, wait, you guys talk amongst yourself. Sixty seconds. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Austin has nice food, I guess. Okay. K Cappuccino, how the fuck did you get enough lubricant? How many oil pumps were you running for this bullshit? <sighs> diesel. Distillation tower. This is the only way to make diesel? Fuck. Are there today, some okay. lubricant? Oh, uh, kind of fucked, fucked up family dinner, so. I don't know. I wasn't supposed to go live today, and. Uh... Just my mind. Fucked up family dinner. Wait, what happened? I just told like my family members to fuck off. It got so bad. Damn, what? Um, something really petty, actually. I don't know. Something. It wouldn't even make sense to you guys, but it's just I fucked up. Oh damn, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't need it lubricant. Happens. It just it happens lubricant. every year, Steven. <laughs> Who cares? That you fight with your family every year? Mm-hmm. Oh well, damn. I'm sorry. Where the Smooth. fuck did you go? Okay, I need to fucking sleep. It. Hey, what? here's the plan. All right, here okay. we go. One, better internet. Okay. Two, cheaper cost of living. Three, more friends and work opportunities. Four, less dangerous slash costly natural disasters. Five, better housing. Six, way better name. Fuck Florida Steve. That shit's weird. <laughs> and then to top it all off, less human trafficking. What the fuck? I'm not even sure most of those things are, are true. I'm pretty sure. These are Austin... all true. We just ran no, through them. No, I did go through confident. them, Dan. 
that I Austin is more expensive Dan. than Miami. Uh, I'm, trying no I'm trying to think, Dan. I'm trying to think, Dan. 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 I'm trying to think if I remember any Austin streamers who had their roof collapse in on them live on oh stream. God. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I'm trying to think, and I'm not remembering any. That has nothing to do with anything. Listen, Dan, I'm just saying that when you drew an octopus on your back fucking wall, I didn't know that was like prophetic of it being underwater, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, all right? When I, when I Listen, remember. I had a small leak, and I didn't know I had a small leak until, you know, I did. But now it's, it's all good. It's, everything's fine. It's not going to happen again. Okay, well, well, if you didn't know about the leak the first time, then what's going to stop it from happening again? Well, I mean, it, you know, it seems okay now. <laughs> Yeah, that's incredibly unfortunate. Probably would never happen in Texas. But hey, this is my second day of campaigning. Um, I think that it's like every day I'm just learning a little bit more. I personally am so incredibly excited to move to Austin. And you know, Steve, can't wait for you and Mel to join us over in beautiful Texas. I really right, gotcha. don't. We're thinking about it. No, okay. not doing it. Stop. Fuck no. Okay. okay. Hey, all right. Hey. <laughs> Melina, hey, don't worry about it, okay? We got you. I took all your needs wait, into consideration. Bose, have you been there before? We're going to take great care of you. Wait, 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 wait. Have you been to Austin before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's fucking great. How many times have you been there? Like, I don't know, like twice. I'm going to go back and visit in January, and then I'm going to pick out my apartment in like March or April. Okay. Wait, where are you? Oh, I already know where you're moving. You're not moving to Austin. Wait, what the fuck? Is Dan moving? No, no, Zerka. you. You're not moving to Austin. You're moving to Cedar Park. I already know it. 100% guaranteed. Me? Yep. What? Is that where the... Hell no, I'm That's not. That's the moving shit to... suburb that all the fucking streamers live in. Hell fucking no. suburbia. I'm not moving to a fucking... Guaranteed. I know exactly where I'm moving. It's going to be in yeah. city center. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing we'll that. We'll see. All right. Far. Okay. All right. Okay, listen. I Dan, you don't have anything that you want to submit to the court? No affidavits? No testimony? Before we uh, call the stream tonight? I, I think we should just end it on Dan saying... Fuck that. I don't care. I don't want you in Florida. You should no, just She's a there. liar. She's a liar. Uh, half the shit she said was fake news or made up and untrue. Austin costs more. Okay. First of all, Miami has better internet. Miami has better <laughs> fucking places than that shit. This uh, is a goddamn... This wait, is just a Dan, lie. Hold on. Dan, I'm just trying, Dan, to, I'm just trying to think. Wait, Dan, Dan, Dan. What was going on with Mr. Right? Mooton when he stopped streaming so many days? Because he said the internet's not working because of construction or whatever. Is that like a normal Miami experience? Oh, I'm, uh, yeah. That, that's weird. Is there, is there no construction in fucking Texas? -y? You know, I don't, I'm not playing this game. It's fine. I'm sorry. Apparently, Miami is the only place that construction goes on. My B. My B. I'll take the L on that one, guys. All right? <laughs> Dan, are you okay? I'm fine. I think we should just end it on Dan saying, fuck you, I don't want you in Miami anyways. And then maybe we'll get some input from Mooton, which honestly, he's had two opportunities now to join the calling campaign for Florida. I haven't seen that yet, so it seems like the energy's not there. Maybe he really will move to Texas. We'll find out. But thank you guys so much for participating and listening. Dan, I'm really, I'm kind of bummed. I thought we would, you know, get a little bit more into it, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep digging up my research and facts, and uh, we, we can uh, reconvene on this in a couple weeks. It's all right, Bose. When you realize how shit Austin is, we'll see you down here in Miami in like six months. <laughs> Likely story, Dan.